Greetings and salutations, and welcome to World Anvil's Campaigns Interface. If you're playing a tabletop role-playing game, Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, or anything else, this is where you can create and set up your campaign. Your campaign will be created inside your specific world setting, so you'll need to create a world to get started. Each world in World Anvil is a living world. You can play multiple campaigns in your world setting, and campaigns might have different players, happen at different times, and on different continents, but they might also share places and NPCs. Once your campaign is set up, you'll be able to use the Digital Storyteller's screen, which is like a Game Master screen tailored specifically to your world and your campaign to make your game run even smoother. In this video, I'm going to get you started with creating your campaign. From the dashboard, you can open the Campaigns tab here and create a new campaign with this button. If you already have a campaign active, the name will appear in the menu bar, and you'll see quick access options for the different aspects of your campaign. Otherwise, you can find the main campaign's interface via the left-hand menu bar and create a new campaign with this button. The campaign will be created in the world you currently have active. You can change which world you have active, either here on the top left or in the green hammer button. In the campaign creation form, you must choose a name and an RPG system. This will set up the interface so you can draw on stat blocks from that system. If you can't find the system you're looking for, you can contact us via the Suggest a Feature option to request an additional system be added. Select Homebrew slash in development for now. Select public or private for your campaign, and if you want to cover image, drag and drop one here. In additional options, you can set your campaign to looking for players or full. This displays on the home page of your world and your campaign page. You can show or hide the campaign from your world's homepage here, and you can add a single line and paragraph descriptions to get potential players excited about your campaign and set the tone. Save changes to create your campaign, and now that it's created, you'll be taken to the homepage of the campaign edit screen. The homepage is the primary navigation tab. Once your campaign is up, you can quickly do the most common actions from here, like viewing the public page of your campaign, jumping to the edit or view mode of the world the campaign is set in, scheduling the next session of your campaign and see upcoming sessions, managing your characters and your parties. But the first thing to do is to add your players. Under the Protagonist tab, you'll find a URL. Send this to your players, who should paste it into their browser bar once they're signed into World Anvil. They'll be presented with the option to join with any of their hero characters or create a new hero. If they choose to create a new hero, they'll need to go back to the invite URL to select that character. There are links in the description for guides to creating characters, which you can give to your players, or send them the player's workflow video, also linked in the description. Once your players have added their characters to your campaign, they'll appear here. You can view the character by clicking on the image, edit their sheets here, or expel them from the campaign here. Make sure that you add your PCs before you start your session. Once your session is started, you won't be able to add them anymore. Once your players have been invited, it's time to think about NPCs. Create a new NPC by clicking the button. They must have a first and last name, and you can add a portrait if you like. The rest of the information is optional, but will help you flesh out your NPC and keep track of them more easily. Add a public description to give flavor to your NPC, and then write secret notes about them, like their ulterior motives and their dark past. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can select their general attitude to the party in this tab. Adversaries work against the party whilst allies help them. Competitors strive towards the same goals as the party or some of its members, and they're a great way of upping the pressure. A protagonist is an NPC who takes a main character role to up the action or fill out the party. A neutral NPC has no strong feelings about the party. If the NPC falls into none of these categories or is currently too unimportant to have one of these attitudes, choose general NPC. You can always edit this later. You can also make the NPC visible or hidden to the party. Showing NPCs to the party is a good way to help them remember the cast of your campaign. Under Additional Options, you can select a character article from your world to give more information about this NPC, if you've written one already. If you don't select an article, the system will automatically create a new article for this NPC in your world. 
Choose a location from your world as their current location. And if you've made a character sheet for this NPC, you can link it from the dropdown. You can make character sheets by going to the stat blocks interface on the left hand menu and selecting your stat blocks. From there, select the sheet you want to create, click the blue button to open the form and fill it in. If you don't have a sheet ready or you won't need one right away, then don't worry about this. You can edit the NPC and add one later. For extra flavor, you can add an honorific like professor or sir, a nickname and their general location. Then save changes. Once your NPC is created, you'll see them in the list. You can arrange the list by name, type, visibility, and location to quickly sort through your campaign's NPCs. Edit and delete your NPC here too. Your NPCs will also be quickly available on the Digital Storyteller screen. Under the Parties tab, you can create a party of your players if you want to. Parties can track quests and have communal loot, which both you and the players can edit. You might choose to create a party for session one if your players decide that they already know each other and are working together. Otherwise, you can create a party when it makes sense in the story. Add the name of your party, a short description, and select which player characters are in the party. Click here to form your party. When you edit the party, you can manage the party's quests and the party's equipment. Each party has their own quests. You can create them with this form. Players can create them whilst in session. Quests are a great way to keep the party on track and also to keep track of what they think is important. When you edit the quest, you can change the status to accepted, active, completed, failed, or abandoned. There's also a place to track storyteller's notes about the quest and you could view and edit the party's notes too. If the quest is completed, add the final resolution to immortalize what happened. Parties can also have shared assets and loot. Add the name of the asset. It might be gems, property, or anything else. Then select the type from the dropdown and add the quantity. Party members can also edit this list. If the fellowship is at an end, you can delete your party, but make sure you're certain. All of your party content will be lost if you do this. And in addition, you can edit your party's details and add a party crest or symbol on this screen. In the plots tab, you can add your plot articles to your campaign to keep track both during a session and between sessions. Create plot articles in the Create interface or with the green hammer button. Plots can be any scope you choose, from a full campaign to a sub arc to a single adventure, a session, or a side quest. You can also nest plots inside other plots. For example, you might want to have a master plot article which tracks out your ideas for the whole campaign, and also a plot article for each session in which you plan out encounters, hooks, and information for your players to move the story forward. If you nest these session plots beneath your master plot, they'll be imported when you import your master plot, like this. By the way, if you create a logic loop by setting a child plot of an article also as the parent plot, you will break your plots. Do not do this. Do not do this. In the sessions tab, you can create new sessions and view and edit previous sessions, and also write a quick session report which is a great way to make sure you remember what happened. To create a session, add a title and an optional description to tantalize your players. Then set the time and date of your session. Time and date will show according to the time zone of your account, which you can change in account settings. Fill in the rest of the form and click schedule session. If you want to message your players or invite them with the date and time of the session or change any details of your session, click the edit session button. You can resume an ongoing session here too, or finish one that's currently open. And once the session is finished, click this button to write a report. And you'll be able to see all of the journals which your players have written for the session too. In the Primer tab, you'll see your Primer, a knowledge base for your players available to them in-game in their player's screen and out of game on the campaign homepage. You can add articles of information their characters would know, like how currency works and knowledge of the city they grew up in. You can also use subscriber groups to show different members of the party different information, even within the same article. Learn more in the Access Rights section. You can search for your articles and assign them with the green plus or remove them with the red minus. Under the Settings tab, you can edit the basic information about your campaign, change your system, add details and alter the campaign's visibility. You can also add another storyteller to your game or delete your campaign. 
but only do that if you're certain, because it's irreversible. And if you're a guild member, you'll see the Guild Features tab. You get some extra perks for your campaign. The automatic URL of your campaign will be a series of random letters and numbers, but you can change the slug to something more memorable here. You can also use CSS to style your campaign. I've linked the CSS codex at the bottom of the video, and there's a dedicated CSS help channel in the Discord too. Learn more about guild membership at worldanvil.com forward slash pricing, linked in the description. And now that you've got your campaign fine-tuned, why not head to the digital storyteller screen, where you can play your session, roll dice, make notes, and play music. You can get there by clicking open your storyteller screen at the top, or by starting or resuming a session in the sessions interface. I've linked the codex article and video for that beneath this video too. Or if you're still writing your plots, hop down to the community stat blocks to stat up your encounters or homebrew your own blocks under your stat blocks. And keep an eye out for upgrades on this system too to make it even easier and more intuitive. If you want more hints, tips, and tutorials, then hit the subscribe button right now. I post world building content that will help you create better worlds for your novels and your campaigns, and you can look out for more World Anvil tips and tricks there too. And if you're looking for more help, then check out our documentation, the World Anvil Codex, at worldanvil.com forward slash codex. I've linked the campaigns and storyteller screen guide articles in the description of this video too. Or join our Discord server, worldanvil.com forward slash Discord, and ask your questions on our help channel. Everyone's very friendly there. Now grab your hammer and go world build. <laughs>